Hi everyone, it's Tatiana from Tatiana's Everyday Food and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I have the perfect summertime cheesecake recipe for you guys. I'll be making my coconut and lime cheesecake loaded with lots of coconut cream and I finish things off with the homemade lime curd and whipped cream and this cheesecake is just to die for good. The combination of all these flavors is just the perfect tropical summertime combination. I'm going to start off by preparing my graham cracker crust first. So into my food processor, I'm going to place 10 whole graham crackers, cover this with my lid, and pulse the cookies until I have fine crumbs. Next, I'm going to add a quarter cup of melted butter. Just pour that right in. And then pulse this together until the butter and crumbs combine. Today I'll be using a 9 inch springform pan and I've lined the bottom with some foil since we will be using a water bath for today's recipe. I'm going to transfer my cookie crumbs into the bottom of the pan. And now for my filling. So today I'm using 4 bricks or 32 ounces of cream cheese and I've softened this at room temperature. I'm going to place all of it into my mixer bowl. And then I'm going to whisk it on high speed for about eight to 10 minutes until the cream cheese is really light and fluffy. I have my cream cheese ready and now it's time to add the rest of my ingredients. I have one cup of white granulated sugar, four large eggs, a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and now for that coconut flavor. I'll be using a can. I have a 5.4 ounce can of unsweetened coconut cream. I'm going to add all of that in. You can also add coconut extract if you have any. All right, and then give this all a whisk and I'm going to scrape down the sides of my bowl periodically and whisk it for about five to seven minutes until I have a really light and fluffy uniform cheesecake filling. And now for my final ingredient, I'm going to zest a few limes and add the lime zest right into the cheesecake filling so you get some of that rich tropical flavor with every bite. I'm going to add all of that lime zest right into my cheesecake filling and whisk this for another 30 seconds until it's well combined. Time to pour this filling over my prepared crust. And level this off with a flat spatula. And now it's time to prepare our simple water bath. So I've transferred my cheesecake onto a baking dish and I'm going to fill this up with a little bit of water. The water will add moisture into the oven while the cheesecake is baking and prevent any cracking on the top. Also, I give your cheesecake a nice level top. And I have my oven preheated to 310 degrees Fahrenheit. The cheesecake should bake for about an hour 45 up to two hours. You want the edge to be set, but the center to still be a little bit wobbly. Once your cheesecake reaches that stage, you wanna go ahead, turn off the oven, crack the door open just a little bit and allow the cheesecake to cool in the oven for about another hour. Then take it out cool on the countertop for a few hours and then send it into the refrigerator and allow it to set overnight. My cheesecake is in the oven and now is a great time to work on my lime curd that I'm going to use on the top. I'm going to squeeze one third cup of fresh lime juice into my measuring cup. I think fresh lime juice works the best. It has lots of fresh flavor. I'm going to strain my lime juice into a small saucepan. Into the same saucepan, I'm going to add one large egg plus two egg yolks and a half a cup of white granulated sugar. Give this all a whisk until the eggs are really smooth. All right, I'm going to take this mixture over to the stovetop and cook it for about five to seven minutes over medium low heat. You wanna make sure that you're stirring this mixture constantly until it thickens nicely. I just finished cooking my lime curd and it should get to a really thick consistency. I'm just going to transfer it into a bowl so you guys can see how thick it is. And don't forget, you want to make sure you're stirring, stirring all the time so that it doesn't burn. And the last ingredient for our lime curd is four tablespoons of unsalted butter. And you want to add the butter while the curd is still hot. Grab a whisk and then whisk this until that butter is completely melted. And if you want to make your lime curd very green, you can also add a drop of green food coloring. And now that that's all done, I'm going to grab some plastic wrap. 
you want to drop the plastic right onto the curd. So tap it down into the bottom and I'm going to set this into the refrigerator and let it set completely overnight and it'll be perfect for tomorrow garnishing our cake. All right, my cheesecake has set in the refrigerator overnight and now it's time to take it out of the pan. If you're using a nonstick pan, the cheesecake should just peel away from the pan with ease. Lift that up. Oh, this cheesecake is just perfection. It looks so pretty. And now it's time to garnish the top. So my lime curd has set in the refrigerator overnight and then once you take it out, just give it a quick stir and it should be really nice and smooth. Around the edges, I'm going to add my whipped cream and to make this, I just whisked together two cups of heavy cream with half a cup of sugar and then transferred it into my pastry bag. I'm just gonna make dollops along the edge, sealing that lime curd on the inside. And for the final touches, I've toasted some flaked coconut in the oven. You just want to spread it on a baking sheet and then place it into the oven for a couple minutes until it's golden. And I'm just going to sprinkle it around the edges. And this is the perfect finish to our coconut and lime cheesecake. All right, time to cut into this cheesecake and see what it's all about. It just looks so beautiful. And I can imagine it tastes so good. Look at that, it's so airy, it's so light and fluffy. That lime curd sits perfectly on the top, a little whipped cream on the side. Any, any extra that you have uh, from the whipped cream that you make for the cake, you could just add a little bit on the side. Perfect. And now for my favorite part, I get to dig in and enjoy this cheesecake and it just looks so pretty. I absolutely love that lime curd on the top, the toasted coconut looks so pretty. Mmm. I've just died and gone to cheesecake heaven. And this coconut cake is amazing. You guys are gonna love the combination of that creamy coconut cheesecake. It just melts into your mouth and then it's topped off with the most amazing sour and sweet lime curd. And in addition to that, the whipped cream, the toasted coconut, you just cannot ask for a better summertime tropical flavored cake. Make sure to give this cheesecake a try next time you're looking for something fruity and tropical and summery to serve at your get together. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.